Okay, uh, here we are, uh, getting to the walls. Uh, we finally finished the walls. It was a long step, and I'll give you a little preview of the flooring. Let me get to the next slide. Um, we rearranged the project plan a little bit, uh, changed the sequence. Um, painting will actually come after the flooring instead of before the flooring. Uh, Yarina, the project manager, advised me that the tiles would kick up a lot of dust and probably ruin the paint after it's been done. So it's better to get all the messy work done first and then paint last. I have seen it in the past where um, painting was done and then you put down the flooring uh, afterwards, but that's because they have the luxury of being able to cut outside. Uh, we'll be cutting inside the apartment, so again, it will create a lot of dust, you know, from cutting the tiles and even cutting the wood that can find its way in, uh, on the walls and make a make a mess. It's it's really uh, I, I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> if you could paint uh, before, then you don't have to do all the masking and taping. You know, um, you know, it'd be a lot less now if you have to paint after after the flooring is done, there'll be a lot more uh, preparation work. But uh, that's that's what we have to do. Um, I called these te uh, steps six through 10, the enclosure, you know, starting with the screed or the subfloor and then ending up with the painting, that this is all like the uh, enclosure, the ceilings, the walls, the flooring. Um, so ceilings took most of June, or part of June, I should say, you know, and then uh, the walls, uh, it started in June, and uh, finally it's already the end of July. Today is July 25th, and you know we're just six more days left in the month. Hopefully they can get the tiling started. Uh, that I'll talk about a little bit later. But uh, the walls take a while. Um, so we broke down. I broke down the ceilings and walls into two separate and distinct steps, since they are uh, quite each. Each one does take time. Ceilings took about two, three weeks. I think two weeks. I would say, and then the, the walls have taken a good solid month all together. Uh, and then, um, you know, painting, uh, painting I expect to take a week because you're doing coats and you have to let them dry and then you have to paint again, so maybe a week to 10 days there. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can start getting done in the end of August, early part of September, but we, we do have a little bit of delay with some materials with the tiles, but we might be able to work around and do some of the steps down here, like the balcony windows, and maybe get some measuring done for the interior doors. So once once we do get the materials in, things will speed up. So this is how the walls look when you get it. Now this this is the one of the early photos. Uh, so the ceilings are done, the floor is done, but this is how this is how the walls look when we started. Uh, you, as you can see, they they are quite uneven. You know, even though it's a concrete wall and everything, there is some variance. They tied the string at the ends, and these gaps show where the walls kind of waver. Some places it's touching the wall, and other places it's um, it's uh, um, got some it's got some air in between. So you know, we, we have to even this up. It should all be touching. If you put the nail on both ends, the wall should um, completely touch. So, but here we have some gaps. And they mark it with a pencil where the, um, the walls kind of concave in or concave out. Uh, so it's very important to get the walls even. Otherwise, when you put on the paint and everything, it looks really look really bad. So th this is a long step. It, it took some time. They had to put this uh, mesh. This is like a, uh, a screen mesh to hold the plaster. You know, I was uh, thinking they were going to do um, wooden sticks you know, like one one inch by one inch or half inch by one inch sticks and then put uh, gypsum. But they actually just plaster this with layers and each layer takes time to dry. I know this is probably about as exciting as watching paint dry. Um, but just to be consistent with the other videos, I'll give a lot of detail, even though, you know, making the walls is probably not the most exciting thing, but it's probably one of the most important steps. It's not, uh, it doesn't require a high level of skill, but it just requires a lot of time. You know, of course, it's you know better to have experienced craftsmen or you know contractors because they can do it faster. But um, uh, truthfully, it's not plumbing, it's not electrical. It's just it's just time, you know, and uh, getting the angle right on the plastering spreader, you know, to, to keep spreading. But what they do is they plaster and then they go away for a day or two and they come back and then they just keep plastering some more. So I can just show you the progress. You can see that you know it's a little bit here like this. A little bit discolored. That's uh, where it's damp and still drying. 
And you can see they have their plaster mixer here. So they're doing this day in and day out um, for weeks, you know, for a good solid uh, three, four weeks. And this is more of that uh, sheet, I think, as they laid it out. And then here's some leftover um, uh, ceiling material, uh, gypsum. The ceilings were done in gypsum. But the walls are the walls are definitely plastered, uh, and so you see they have to finish the windows and they have to put in these corner beads. I'll show you. So the first layers they don't uh, uh, attack the window edges. You know I was a little worried about that, but but it's something another contractor has to deal with. But eventually they do get to it. But um, yeah, they they keep working at it. Um, you go here. You can see there's still even after all this work is done, there's still a lot of material left. And this is like a, a final coat. There's different types of plaster for different stages. More, I guess, rough plaster to take care of the um, edges on the walls or take care of the variance and the um, unevenness. And then there's probably a finer types of plaster that you know you put on the final coats for the appearance. But you can see they're just working away. You know, it's 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 just uh, day in day out. It's a lot of labor. This is just straight up labor. Um, you know, so here you can see the screen over the electrical fixtures. So eventually, I think they cut this out, you know, so that the electrical can uh, be worked with. Um, so here it's drying, you know, and then they, they have their workstations and everything. And then, you know, we get to the next one. So here they put the bead, you know, to get the nice corners and get the nice edges. You know, this is what we call corner bead in America. Here you can see our new electrical box. It's looking really good. You know, I think they, uh, I don't know if I have the picture where they cover this up, but they have taken great care to, uh, you know, make sure that none of the other things are uh, getting damaged, like covering the door and the knobs and everything. So it's, this probably preparations will stay all the way through till painting. And then, yeah, here, yeah, I think here they put the door on the electrical box, and I think they've wrapped that. Uh, it's looking really nice. You can see it's looking, you know, it's, it's looking a lot, uh, it's starting to look like a place to live. You can see here now they put this, uh, starting to put this final coat of plaster here where it gets white. It's almost like a primer. It's like a pre-primer. Um, you know, it's going from this gray color to this white color. So now it's starting to actually look like an apartment. You know, um, now here they've done the window edges. You can tell it's very wet. You know, that the plaster is uh, going to take some, maybe a day or two to dry. It really depends on the outdoor temperature and humidity. Um, maybe they can run the floor heating in the apartment to you know, give some more heat. I'm not sure if they're doing that or not. You know, um, then, yeah, here it's let's see, it's really starting to look like an apartment. It's really starting to look like you can almost move in. You know, it's uh, once these floors you know come in and everything, and then you know it's been painted. You know, with a few coats of uh, Arctic white. I think I think we'll be on to something. And yeah, so here we go. You can see it's really starting to lighten up. It really makes a, really gives you a sense of optimism. We can really say we're like now over the halfway point. I would say we're about two thirds of the way done. We started started the actual construction works in April, and I think we're looking for like hopefully somewhere late August, um, you know, late September. I think with the delay on the materials, late September. So. That's about five, six months. So I'd say, yeah, we're about 60, 70 percent done with the project. You know, and this walls getting through the enclosure steps. It's the um, it's the real halfway point. So once you're through the, these steps, uh, then then you can really say you're over halfway done, and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So here they left off uh, some of the final plaster coating because this is probably where the tiles are going to go backsplash tiles, and they need a more rough surface to adhere to. So they do this in the bathroom as well, where they're going to tile. They, they just uh, leave off the material there, and you can see the filters are here. You know, this is this is all going to be the kitchen. The ventilation is going to go up through here, take out the exhaust, and we're going to have like these little can lights, LED can lights, eventually. But uh, it's it's looking very very promising. And again, this is the bathroom. They've already brought in materials for the next step, the tiles. So we're going to have these pebble stone tiles on the shower and bathtub floor. Uh, there's some leftover green board. You know, we're going to have a growy shower. It's going to be really nice. And then, see, they left off the final skim coat, uh, final layer of plaster, because this is all going to be tiled in, uh, except for the ceiling. The ceiling, of course, will be, um, I think, just, uh, you know, 
wet paint, like a paint waterproof paint or something will be up there. Uh, and then this is going to be where the washing machine goes here, sink, the outlets for the uh, kitchen cabinet. And I think this is the outlet for the washer, you know, washing machine down here. And then the drainage pipe that we have. Uh, it's going to be quite a bit of work, I think, to still install it. That's a big step. I'll take you back on that project plan. You know, we'll go back here. Um, let me just show you the project plan. So, yeah, see so the bathroom completion. Yeah, so the bathroom completion will probably be a big step to get all that stuff hooked up. And I mark that as red because that takes quite a bit of skill. And then after that, we put in the electrical fixtures. But yeah, you can see once the walls are done, and then you know we get through the flooring, then it's really, it really this the, these steps will go pretty fast. I mean, they require a lot of skill, but not a lot of time. You know, this will probably be like three, four days here. This electrical fixtures will be three, four days. And the interior doors, it's going to be a lot of waiting, you know, measure weight. And then it's probably a day or two worth of work to do the installation once they come in. So, yeah, you can see the walls are clearly, you know, it's eight step eight of 16. But I think it's more like a 60, 70 percent done, you know, because this is a very long step. Um, we'll get back here to the pictures. So you can see now the tiles are coming in, the toilet and the bathtub are already coming in for the next step. Yorina has a real way to get the men to work for her. I was joking with her that she has a lot of power over the men. You know, there's three of them taking in the bathtub. The apartment is right up here. Luckily, I have a second floor apartment. There's a lot of chaos with the elevators. Um, this is why I always tell people to Ukraine, buy on a low floor. Uh, the, the elevators always tend to be a problem. It's been my experience. I've lived in, uh, I think, two different buildings before this. Yeah, two different. And in Kiev, I even lived in a, in a building there, and the elevator was always a problem. So always stay on floors two, three, and four. As much as, you know, you might want to view or something, you know, then you better be ready to work out and use the steps a lot um, or wait for a long time for the elevator to come. Uh, so, yeah, this is the wall tiles, it looks like, um, that have come in. So we're, we're getting there. Um, you know, now they put everything here in the living room. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you can see here the white walls. Everything is very smooth. The edges are done. You know, we'll put a rod here for the curtains. You know, the gas pipe will probably be taken care of by the painters. You know, we'll just paint that over white. Uh, this Marazzi tile, the floor tile, that looks like wood. This is the problem. This is going to take an extra month to get. So we are uh, delayed for about four weeks waiting for this uh, material to come in. It's from Kiev. And I decided it's worth the extra month to get the right material. There were some substitutes that were locally available, but the designer uh, and project manager, Irina, she was quite strong that it wasn't really going to be a, you know, a good match or a good substitute. The quality was much lower, and actually the prices were higher. So this is lower priced, higher quality, but we have to wait. So that's one of the realities of renovation. Um, this is going to be the bathroom floor, and then this is the shower floor tile. Um, and again, here you can see, here's all the electrical junctures and then the floor heating, and it's all very white. Um, if you're looking for design and build services in Ukraine, you know, drop me a line. It's uh, something I would like to start doing. You know, Yarina and I have been talking that uh, this is potentially a, a business we could work together. You know, I can handle handle the customers and handle the finances, and then she would handle the actual day-to-day -day project work. Um, you know, we're working pretty well together on this. You know, um, we're communicating clearly. I'm not, I haven't even been there. I'm going next week. Uh, it will be my first time seeing the project since it started. You know, uh, we started in February, and next week it's uh, early August, late July, early August. Uh, so I'll be seeing it for the first time. I'll make a video. Hopefully the tiles will have started. And we can show some tiling steps, and then I'll make a more formal video afterwards when tiling is done. But yeah, it's very exciting um, that this has been done all um, virtually, you know, from my perspective. That I haven't been on site, but I have a lot of confidence that everything is going to work and everything is going to be good. So thank you, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, give us a like and subscribe.